Now the late Frundis Cops band is being banned from entering Amazonian land. Well, President Sacco, the president of the Federal Republic of Amazonia, Dr. Samuel Likome Sacco, has declared July 26 to 28 as lockdown days following the schedule of the funeral program and burial of the late Frundi planned in his native Baba Chu village Sancho local government area for that weekend. Well, Dr. Shako made this declaration in his keynote address to Amazonians last week during the Bui County War Draft. During his show such a speech, Dr. Sako regretted that the Social Democratic Front Party, which Frundi headed as chairman, was created in 1990 to fight the Southern Cameroon's Amazonian course of marginalization, subjugation, and many others. Due to greed, Frundi hijacked the party and auctioned it. He even transformed the slogan from part of the people to part of Frundi and suffer, don't finish to suffer them fine. Well, let's get that. It has been brought to my notice that the political funeral program of the one Cameroon poster boy and genocide enabler, John Frundi, has been published. I call on all Amazonians to boycott that God-forsaken funeral. He was a brave politician who somehow became the poster boy of a salvation vehicle of the people of Southern Cameroon. True to his Machiavellian plot, and unknown to our vulnerable and assuming people, Frundi derailed the objective of the front, which at that time was to take on the Southern Cameroon cause in the context of La Republic du Cameroon's 30 years of annexation and colonization. Unbeknown to the architects of the front, Mr. Frund had a private business plan in his mind, which was to transform the front from power to the people to people to the power. From suffer don't finish to suffer them fine and sold the vehicle to the highest bidder in a 2 The president also regretted that Frundi stood for what the founding fathers of the party had earmarked, the senseless war and the tens of thousands who have lost their lives might have been averted. Dr. Sacco accuses the late chairman of having the guts to attack the valiant ARS, calling them terrorists, whereas the boys were fighting the fight Frundi abandoned. For all the blunders of Frundi sacrificing South Southern Cameroons for money, the president Sacco has declared his corpse rejected in Ambaland by Amazonians and their ancestors and declares Mami Wata lockdown that must be respected to the latter. Well, let's hear it from the president himself. We are where we are today because of Frundi's derailment 30 years ago of the fight that our forebears mounted to redress the annexation of our country by La Republic. If Frundi did not fail us, we probably would have avoided the bloodbath we have today. To add salt to injury, Frundi shamelessly condemned our generation for doing the necessary to fight the fight he had abandoned because of crumbs from the enemy's table. To celebrate the man who dropped the ball on us and made a living legitimizing the authority of the annexationists colluded, dined, and wined with our cruel enemy while more than 50,000 of our people are massacred and more than 500 of our villages and settlements burnt down. That will be adding salt to injury, especially to those of us who have lost loved ones in the hands of his associates. We call on all Amazonians to massively boycott the political funeral of John Frundi from the 26th to the 28th of July by observing a total lockdown of Amazonia. Let me warn all mourners not to provoke Amazonians. Yesterday, Frundi called Amazonians terrorists. Now he is dead. Do you expect terrorists to give him a befitting barrier? The enemy, La Republic du Cameroon, whom he served should be obliged to keep his corpse and if possible raise a monument for him in Yaoundé, not in Amazonia. We are going to shut down Amazonia and teach a lesson to the remaining rookie traitors that even their corpses will not be granted visa into Amazonia. 
Meanwhile, previously in a very special exclusive interview with Dr. Martin Mungwa, the President Sako said that heroes are not born, heroes are made and celebrated based on the efforts they made on the people they lead. He says Frundi does not deserve celebration and for anyone to celebrate Frundi now is a provocation to the victims and their families. He also mentioned that Amazonians should give someone who has helped create value and impacted on the people the celebration instead. Well, Dr. Sacco pleaded that the Amazonian will not celebrate those who try to kill them because he, Frundi, never stood for his people. Instead, he came up and scattered the hopes of the people. Nijon Frundi is heralded as the one who brought democracy to Cameroon. The question I will first ask is, where is the democracy that he brought? Where is it? Let's show me what he brought that he should be credited for. So that is total nonsense. If what we have today in French Cameroon is what he brought, <laughs> then he is not worthy of celebration. So that's a mistake. Let's give somebody glory based on the value of what he brought and how it has changed the lives of people. Reagan said that the, the easiest campaign to do is to ask the people, are your lives different after four years? What is the difference? So show me the difference in the lives of the people in the system that you call democratic or democracy, that it is today different from what it was. If you find any difference, then that's what it should be credited for. Listen, let me digress. Heroes are not born. So no one is a hero because of how he was born. Come one, maybe by the time you die and in the manner that you die, you can become one. Heroes are made. That is why monuments are not raised for the living. They are raised for the dead because we have a chance to go through their lives, uh, history and find out what they did, what they started doing, what they continued to do, and what they ended doing. The end of a thing is more important than the beginning. It doesn't matter how great, what great ideas you start life with, what great ideas you propounded, how you finish, and how you finish them is how you will be remembered. We will not celebrate those who tried to kill us just because they failed. We will not celebrate those who tried to kill us and be just because at the end, they failed and we triumphed. That is exactly what Nijon Frunde did. He came up and building on the hopes of the Southern Cameroonians and that we, we wanted to, we wanted a means of canalizing our demands and fighting for our cause and, and making our, our voices heard. And we put, put ourselves together behind this force and he became the poster boy. Instead of him to drive that agenda, he saw it as an opportunity to become the president of another Cameroon and he failed. And when he discovered he did not succeed and he has lost the trust and the, of the constituency behind him, he decided to become the number one person to legitimize uh, the, the oppressor, the, 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 the oppressor, the colonizers of La Republic by going every year into an exercise that he knew was futile, was not going to produce any result, that he needed to participate for the Bolivia to always emerge as a champion because a champion without a fight is not a, a, a true champion. He had to keep on legitimizing Bolivia as some legitimate leader by providing this phony uh, competition and allowing him to pronounce himself, uh, Bia to pronounce himself as a winner after a competitive election. That's what he did. And then when we decided to, to fight for ourselves, to take up the, the challenge on our own, seeing that we have been abandoned, seeing that SDF did not do it, uh, it was hijacked for, by, the, by the oppressor under his uh, uh, command. We decided to rise up. Ambazonia decided to rise up. What did he do again? He changed his, his, uh, his address to Yaoundé completely, transferred himself to that, and they started making, started engineering everything, even uh, 
uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, Honorable Guiba had to leave the, uh, the, the, on, in exile because of him, because he will not stand for the people. He will not stand for his people. He instead engineered the government of the Republic of Cameroon to kill our people, to go to Nigeria, to abduct our leaders, and, and asked the United States to round up some of us that we are criminals, we should be arrested. It's a shame. This man is a disgrace in our history. For anybody to celebrate him now as, a, as some hero, is a provocation to the, the victims and, and the families that have buried their thousands, that he proposed to be killed by advising his friend and bedfellow, Paul Bia.